Good morning, Pisces. Good morning. I hope you guys had a good night's sleep. I hope you woke up today feeling happy, safe, and peaceful. Thank you to everyone that has liked, commented, subscribed, and gave donations. All right, Piscianos. What's today? Tuesday, right? I don't know. Uh, yes, it's Tuesday. All right, let's pull three of these. This is Egyptian Visions by Maruka X. We got that seven of wands at the bottom. Spirit. Angels. Ancestors and higher beings. Please help me with this message today for my beautiful Pisces people, my Piscianos. What messages do we have for Pisces? We got helpful people, sacred sexuality, and higher forces. Mm. let's start one by one we got someone will be generous to you people wanting slash willing to help accept help from others Pisces, I feel like you are hearing voices. It may not be like um, like actually like hearing a voice. It could be just like your instincts, you know, your intuition. It's like leading you to places that you're supposed to be in or with people that you're supposed to be in. I feel like you're doing a really good job at listening to this internal voice. I feel like there is a higher power here at play. It says here something about communicating with the other realms, help from the higher dimensions, divine protection. So I don't know. I just feel this energy of communicating and, and flowing with spirit. It's like you're becoming one with spirit and it's like it's leading you to where you're supposed to be. So I do have this sacred sexuality here infinite flow of divine love see in intimacy in your relationship or sexual energy yes this could be very literal okay let's just say this could be an actual person and this could be somebody that you know shows you some type of help some type of generosity you know somebody that kind of shows you that they're there for you and you know this could be yes it could be very sexual in nature like they want more but I can't help but feel with this higher forces like this is something that was put together this is something that was meant to be um but then it's a, another realm pisces that i feel here it's the spiritual realm you know like you're getting some type of spiritual help some type of spiritual guidance you'll know that you're on the right track when things just happen for you when they start flowing it's not to say that you don't have to work for it it's not saying that you don't have to put in your effort and your time and your energy, but it just feels like something is opening, a new door is opening for you. The universe is opening it up for you, Pisces. I think the universe really loves you and they wanna help you. Seven of Swords here in the reversal is like stop fighting the feeling. You know, I guess sometimes we fight the feelings and the urges that we have or the direction that we pick in life you know maybe because others are telling us something or maybe because we're telling ourselves that that's pretty crazy that you came up with that idea or that you want to do this so i don't know pisces i'm kind of feeling this in a very physical 
level of a relationship but I, I'm more, for the majority of you guys out there, I'm feeling it as your destiny is calling. Like, you do communicate with the higher ups. And I feel like you have a, a beautiful connection or a line, a direct line to them. Remember a long time ago, I felt, um, I felt like a, electricity coursing through my body. And I didn't know what that was. And I had asked, what is that? You know, and I heard the voice say to me, think of it as your connection. It's like a plug. You've been plugged into God. So that's what I'm kind of feeling here. So like I said, you'll know this is you. If when whatever it is that you do, doors are starting to open, things are starting to come in a some like like you were right, like your hunches, your ideas, your guesses, your intuition. They were like, you know what? They were right. They were spot on. It's not going to be perfect because you really have to maneuver energy from moment to moment. But I do feel the vibe where it is coming to you, like ideas, what doors to open, what doors not to open. You know what I mean? It just it's a whole bunch of stuff. And for a lot of you, yes, this is someone in the physical realm. So we'll see, Pisces. But for the majority of you, this is very highly connected to god type of stuff pisces god wants to lead you into a whole different direction in life all right let's go a little bit deeper spirit tell me more we got the empress Ooh, king of wands that is the sexual energy and justice okay all right pisces so this is a very sexual energy. This is someone that is very attracted to you. Like I said, this could be an actual physical person or this could be the universe. I kind of feel like the universe has fell in love with you as well, Pisces. But let's see, here's the Empress. So I was feeling this energy of things are growing, things will be happening, things are flourishing around you once you just give in and surrender to the higher ups and to whatever they're telling you to do or those voices, I guess, Pisces, that are leading you into a healthy, good direction. A lot of you feel that you've, you've done something in your life that was potentially great, but it's almost like the universe is saying, there's more, you can do so much more. You know, don't limit yourself. You're capable of being something bigger than what you've imagined before. And that's what I'm getting. With this justice here, Pisces, this is like, like things coming into balance, things being fair, things being just. Like I feel, you know, maybe you guys were in a relationship that wasn't equal in some way. Um, maybe the person you were with held more of the cards Maybe they were more in a position of power in some way. Maybe this is a past relationship of some sorts, I don't know. But in this one, I feel where the roles will be reversed. Well, you'll be held in a position of power. You'll have more authority in a situation. And it's not a negative thing. It's just, I think it's just you, like your your connection to God, your 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 ability to trust your own instincts on a situation that's going to elevate you to a position of higher power. So it's just natural. It's very natural that the next person that comes around you, unfortunately, will feel a little, what's the word, subservient to you, Pisces. And I'm not, like, that's not supposed to be a diss. It's just energetically you have really developed. So when someone is so close to God, to spirit, angels, ancestors, aliens, whatever it is that you're talking to, Pisces, it's like, Others will see and recognize that there's something that happens in that person's life that's a little bit different than everyone else's. And that's what I'm getting there. But let's go a little bit deeper. Spirit, tell me more. I feel like the universe wants you to see wants you to see yourself in a different in a different light. That's what the, the hangman is. Let me throw one more. There's the six of wands. I feel like a lot of you guys don't realize how deserving you are to have it all. 
you guys are real humble people where it's like if you get something good in your life, you know, you don't need much more. You're like, I'm good. I'm good. This is good enough for me. But the universe is kind of showing you, no, like we're in love with you and we want to to put you on a, a higher status, to elevate you, to take you out of a place of where, you know, you kind of hide from the world or where you kind of keep things to yourself. Like you should be one of the leaders in some way of, of something. I don't know what it is. Family, uh, friend, group, um, what you do for a living, I don't know. But it feels to me like they want to kind of like put you on some form of a pedestal and, you know, things that you thought I couldn't go out there and do this. It's like, yes, you can. Let me show you. And that's what I'm getting there, Pisces. You don't do things for the fame. You don't do things for the money. A lot of you do things because it feels good. And that's what I'm kind of getting here. And it's going to feel great. Something is going to feel really good to you. All right, let's go into this Knight of Wands. We've got the Knight of Wands with the Ten of Cups here. Tell you something, Pisces. I've been hearing a song now for days, and I'm hearing it again right now. It's that song um, from Dirty Dancing. It goes, I've been meaning to tell you. I got this feeling that won't subside I think of you and I fantasize your mind tonight now I got you in my sights with these hungry eyes one look at you when I can't disguise hungry eyes. I feel the magic between you and I. I'm so sorry. I literally just woke up. Not that it's any better later on. But um, for a lot of you, yes, this is a physical person that definitely some feeling cannot subside from them. They It just keeps growing. It just keeps intensifying. They keep fantasizing and imagining what it would be like to, to get closer to you or to have it all with you. Or that's what they want. If you're with this person, this person wants it all with you. It's like they're realizing that this feeling is not going to go away. I think this person was used to being some form of a, a playboy, playgirl, you know, and they thought that, you know, they had control over their emotions and who they fell in love with. They really did. I'm feeling them, Pisces. They really did believe that they could just shut it off if they wanted to. And it's not subsiding. It's not going away. Um, for a lot of you, this isn't a physical person. To me, this is extremely spiritual with that higher forces there. I feel like, like I said to you, like the universe has fallen in love with you. And the universe is, you're like the universe's child, you're God's child. And they have their sights set on you now. And now it's time to put you into empress, you know, status, even for the men. It's just a place where people look out for you. People also care about you. People, you know, it's a very nurturing energy. You know, you're finally going to get the nurture that you give, you'll get it back. You know, and that's what I'm feeling here. And I think the biggest thing with you, Pisces, is just saying that you do deserve this. I think something happened to you in your past, you know, that feels like very miracle-ish. I don't know how to explain that. Something feels very miracle-ish that happened to you in your past. We'll go deeper. I'm not sure what that is. All right. Let's see this justice. You know what? Let's do one more for this. The temperance. Mm -hmm. 
being with this person, if this is a person coming up for you, Pisces, it's it's going to feel great, but it's also going to be very, like, I, I feel like the energy of spontaneity, of, like, things just happening, like, one minute to the next. Like, this person's going to bring a whole different life force or energy into your life. Um, they're going to be very artistic and into the arts is what I feel as well. So they may be that, like, creative soul, like, that just likes to create um, invent, you know, new things, um, like businesses. I don't really know Pisces, but they're constantly on the go in creation is what I feel like. Um, but it is going to feel a little like, like shaky at times, spontaneity. Um, you know, trust your gut, trust your intuitions. You guys are very tapped in. So you'll know what to say yes to and what to say no to is what I'm feeling there. But this person definitely has some type of feelings that just do not go away for you. They only intensify. But this person is a whole lot of stuff, Pisces, meaning they have a lot going on. They do have a lot. As much as they have good intentions for you, they have a lot that is still kind of shaky for themselves. So just to put that out there. Let me see what this justice and this judgment. I think there's a lot of people that will not have some type of opportunity with you. So for me, yes, this could definitely be a relationship where someone could have been with you, but you know, um, they, they missed out. They lost on their chance. Whether this is in love or work, I don't know. They lost out. They could have had a really decent, good relationship with you. It is just justice because I do feel like this person might have not um, appreciated you um, the way you deserved. You know, it wasn't until the universe came and kind of stepped in and kind of elevated you and, you know, your intuition kind of grew, your abilities kind of grew that this person started seeing, and maybe others paying attention to you too, that this person started seeing the potential in you. So I do see where people are going to kind of fall off with second chances with you. I also feel like where you, where you give a second chance to a person and I don't know, something's going to be made right in that situation. I don't know. Let's throw one more out there. Spirit, give me one more. The star. Like I felt an energy of you giving a person a second chance, but then something is going to be made right in that situation. A lot of times the star is a very healing. It is the miracle card. It's the miracle card, Pisces. I felt some type of miracle that happened in your life here. Let me one more. The death. Oh my goodness, Pisces. All right, I see it. So something was going to be made right from this second chance or opportunity. You know, Pisces, a lot of you could have died in a situation is what I feel like. Like, I kind of get the vibe where you sit back and you think about a moment or a time or maybe even a few for some of you that you should have been gone. You should not have made it out of those situations, Pisces. And I, I felt that like some type of miracle happened to you. I think that's good that you remember that because with this higher forces here, you weren't alone. This wasn't your regular miracle. This was divine protection, Pisces, that came and made sure you didn't die in those moments. I don't know, this, this could be so many different things for you guys, childhood, teenage years, adulthood. Um, exes, you know, accidents, whatever it is, Pisces, but you should not have made it out of those situations is what I feel like. And I feel like there's something higher here that's talking to you, telling you that wasn't all you. We were watching out for you. We made sure that you survived. We made sure that you learned the things that you were supposed to learn in order to get a better connection with us so that we can move forward into this new direction together. Oh, excuse me. Together. <clears throat> So your life is going to feel like a miracle. And I mean this in so many levels. Like, I don't know how to really articulate this, but you, you're going to have 
something that's bigger than your wildest dreams. Like, I feel you not being a one-trick pony, basically. Like, you don't just do one thing. You're going to do so many things, things that, you know, God kind of leads you into. And then you realize that you're good at these things, that you can do this over here. And I do feel like in this pursuit of your stardom, of your miracles, of something, a new way of making money or whatever this is, Pisces, it's like you're also going to meet with admirers, appreciators, people that want to help you, people that want to be generous to you, people that want to um, have sex with you, like be in flow with you, you know, like it's just going to be like very, like to me, it feels like two hippies. Two, uh, and I know this is going to sound weird, but it feels like two hippies, two people that are very adventurous in the bedroom, and they're going to be very connected when they connect. It's going to be an extremely spiritual thing to become one with this person, Pisces. I don't know who this is, but, but I am feeling that energy with the sacred sexuality and the king of wands here that is wanting something with you that is not your typical like they want happiness and they want joy with you but they want to have fun that's what i'm feeling here with you all right spirit what is the outcome king of pentacles you're going to have more than one option pisces when it comes to love i told you um, you're going to have somebody else that has a lot of money that present that wants to present a lot of money to you. I feel like this person wants to kind of fight for you as well. They want to make sure they want to give you um, some type of stability. I do feel like there's going to be two people that kind of fight for you. And I don't understand what this is. I don't I it definitely could be like a, a love situation. Somebody kind of feels more secure in their position with you. Whereas this other one is working really hard to try to get your attention. Good morning, train. I don't know, Pisces. I just see you in a place of like that the higher forces have kind of elevated you onto where everyone is kind of going to be paying attention to you, trying to get your attention. This doesn't just have to be sexual, even though it says sexual here. Um, infinite flow of divine love like I think everyone's just gonna kind of be feeling your sensuality your loving nature they're gonna just know by looking at you but there is one person that I'm feeling that is just more confident in their relationship with you um, they're confident but at the same time they're not stupid they make sure that they keep other people away from you because they feel like they you're like a, a prize or some sorts or a gem of some sorts and so they they, they fight for you in ways that you don't even know, Pisces, to make sure that they have you safe, you know, in, in, their, in their corner type of feeling. And they're right to do so because there are a lot of people that are peeking through that are wanting to come and talk to you. Um, this could be through social media, Pisces, and they're missing. As much as they're like paying attention to you, they're missing the fact that others can steal you. That's what I'm getting there. All right, let's see what advice. What advice do we have for Pisces? The chariot and the lovers. I'm going to tell you, Pisces, trust your instincts. You definitely are in connection with divine, with the divine flow, infinite flow of divine love, Pisces. You are communicating with the other realms and you have divine protection. But that doesn't mean that some of these people and their craziness will not lead you through down a rabbit hole, you know, or, or some type of pit. So be very careful, Pisces. Listen to your instincts. Listen to the flow where the flow of energy is. Don't bite off more than you can chew is basically the energy that I'm getting. Um, when you see can't see something clearly, take a step back and ask for that guidance so that you can see. Take a minute. Don't rush into it is the feeling. All right, let's do the career and money. Let's pull three cards here. I know you guys are talking to someone. It may not be a literal voice. And like
like I said, the way you'll know that you are in tune is because things start progressing for you. Things start kind of, in a way, becoming easier. Doors start opening. You start seeing another place or area in your life that you can prosper in. All right, Spirit, tell me more. Money tree. Resign and retire. And then we got insurance at the bottom. Woo! All right, Pisces. The higher ups have decided to promote you. You no longer need to work for that stupid job or that that job you couldn't stand or or maybe even a job that you were getting tired of or maybe you still even love the job because you know I'm not sure you could have still loved it but it's time to do something else because something has opened up I told you I felt a doorway that the universe was opening up for you they were trying to show you a different direction in life where you can make even more money that you're making at this current time this is in the challenge position so it's telling me like maybe you're resistant maybe you're reluctant you're not really sure Pisces um, you need that insurance you know this is that that feeling like I need to be sure before I go full throttle into this area guess what Pisces that's you communicating with the higher-ups you're right this is your confirmation make sure that you have some form of insurance you keep you know to you know whatever this flow of income is um, but also be willing to open that door because the universe is slowly guiding you into a new realm a new version of life like I feel you re like reinventing yourself in this life many times this could also be in relationships Pisces this could mean relationships too which is a little you know kind of kind of weird because it's like you you still need the insurance of another person you know and I don't know take that how that resonates because I'm not you know I don't know what you're doing there to make sure that you're safe in a relationship I don't know what that means exactly but I do feel money wise business wise it's time for you to listen to that voice it's time for you to see um, prosperity in a different area of your life because uh, the higher forces are promoting you you did the work Pisces and now you're going to see generosity coming from the people that are supporting you in the physical and also in the spiritual realm. All right, let's finish this off with Osho's. I think of you and I fantasize your mind tonight. I don't know. I feel like the universe is falling for you. They love you. They love who you are. They love the things that you've been through. They just love your humor. They love, there's so many things that they love about you. And they have chosen you and they have picked you for this reinvention, a time to reinvent yourself. Over and over and over again, Pisces. I don't know how many versions of yourself you're going to change up, but there's a few here. All right, Spirit, tell me more. Tuning in. I just said that too. Like, I felt like you were connected. You were tuning in. I'm going to read it reverse. Mind and maturity. Like you were tapped in. You were tapped in. There was something about that. Wait, hold on. It, it is like a promotion. So it's a trick. How do I say this? It's like sometimes you don't know if you're getting the messages right. Sometimes you get confused about what's that next step or is this the right thing to do? Um, but I did feel the vibe where it's kind of like you got to take a step back. You know, that's that hangman Pisces energy that's there. It's like take a step back, see things from a different perspective. When you're not really sure of a direction, you don't need to charge through it. You just like play it safe. 
that's what I'm hearing more than anything. Playing it safe and coming back to yourself. Coming back to yourself meaning don't allow yourself to get you know, stressed out and mumble jumbled. And that's gonna help you to tune in better because I do feel like where sometimes you guys are not really 100% sure on your messages. So playing it safe, having that insurance is what I'm feeling. There's some type of insurance here, Pisces security that you need to have in order to keep proceeding with a situation. So there's something that's coming to mind. Let's just say that you're in a relationship with someone and you know, you're not really sure of this is going to make it. You don't, the person doesn't know. There's some type of security insurance that you're going to need from this person in order to feel like, okay, if you could do this, then I could, I, could, I could work with this. I feel a little bit more secured in this situation. So I do feel like some type of conversation like that will be coming up for some of you if this is about a, a physical love. Um, I also feel like the spiritual, this is very spiritual as well, where it's like the universe is holding an umbrella, you know, so even though things may not look like they're perfect, even though sometimes you're questioning the direction of life and what you're hearing and the messages and whoever it is talking to you, Pisces, I told you, there's people still communicating with you here. It's like you're still in a safe space. You still have some form of divine protection something about this money this progress this wealth is yours it will be yours and the, the way that you're going to get it is by taking a step back you know um taking getting yourself out of the mentality of being confused you know and just knowing that god's got you it may seem scary but just remember there's an umbrella underneath you you're being shielded you're not in a hole you know, it's like, and even when things seem bad, it's like you're still fine. You have a roof over your head, you have food on the table, and you have clothes on your back. So, you know, it just takes one moment to the next and your whole world can change. The person that you used to be last month will be a completely different person in this month is what I'm feeling here, Pisces. All right, Pisces, I hope you like the reading. Please like and subscribe and thank you.